First and foremost, before we get started, I like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rikakadash, and the bonds to those great millstones, while unto truth, and also to those elect that are scattered abroad. I like to say, Shalom, and come back here today with another great and powerful lesson to spare the power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So the type D lesson is, see then that ye walk circumspectly. So I like to say Shalom to all I listen and learn. Hope this way, Peter, today and guide you back in the path of righteousness and back to your true power, which in fact is Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So before we start the daily lesson, I have a quick news article here by a, a Daily Dot. And it reads, it said, everything is locked up. Walmart shoppers can't access anything in laundry section after all items are behind locked shelves. Let's read a little bit more. It said, recently, many stores have decided to lock certain items behind glass or plastic in order to prevent people from shoplifting the items. So we already know it's more than laundry uh, items or uh, uh, the laundry section. So as many uh, sections uh, in Walmart uh, they are constantly locking it down behind a uh, glass or uh, plastic uh, uh, shelf. So, you know, so so we knowing that we coming upon this time. We already knowing that they gradually, what, transitioning over into what, a digital society, what, a cashless society. You know what I'm saying? So we already knowing that, you know what I'm saying, the, uh, the old currency is getting ready to be obsolete. So we seeing that these things are constantly coming into place. And we already knowing that what the stage is set. You know what I'm saying? We already know that all the all roads lead to the what? The grain of rice. So so right here in Walmart, we're knowing that, you know, it's it's rumors that saying that by uh January twenty fourth that they're gonna lock up everything in the store. So we already knowing that, hey man, this going into what? Buying and selling. Also going into this system that they get ready to put into play. You know what I'm saying? You know you would not be a part of this this system that's coming into play, which in fact is 5G blockchain system where, where it's going to work what with your biometrics. It's going to work with what? Face recognition. You know what I'm saying? Palm reading. You know what I'm saying? Also what? Iris scanning. You know what I'm saying? And, and many other ways. You know what I'm saying? Tracking and tagging. So this is the first uh step. You know what I'm saying? It's already a lot of these things already set up in a certain Walmart. They already have that face recognition right now, self-checkout. You know what I'm saying? So we already know that what? AI, artificial intelligence will also is going to be taking over, going to be playing a big role in this next uh, system that they're getting ready to put into place. So also they saying uh, uh, they haven't in increased uh, theft, but that is about we already know it. We're not ignorant of Satan devices, you know. So, we know that these things have been manufactured, also designed from the left hand side, but all through the spirit of power of Yahweh by Shimmy Abishai. So, one thing about it, you will not be able to buy or sell. So, we already know that Amazon got these uh certain things in play, uh, whole, whole food. Uh, Walgreens, you know, like when you go to Walgreens, you know, even though you still can go and, and get your fa favorite items for right now, but they have a, uh, 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 coolers and cases that have a wave and speak on it. So we already know that this new, uh, blockchain system is getting ready to come into play. That's going to work hand in hand with the, what the RFD microchip, which in fact is the mark of the beast. So we're not ignorant of Satan devices. You know what I'm saying? That's why you got to be watching. You got to be praying. Praying without ceasing, also have a, what, a stable mind, what, a sober mind. You know what I'm saying? But one thing about it is that we're seeing that these things are what are constantly coming into play. And also we knowing that World War Three is constantly what brewing. You know what I'm saying? It's already re reports that the Houthi rebels, which in fact is Iran, said they have attacked a U.S. warship. And also it's rumors that uh uh the U.S. is is building up, uh, is sending more troops over there in the Middle East. So, you know, the Lord is what is gathering the nation. That Ezekiel chapter 38 war is constantly coming together. So we're seeing a lot of things. Uh, is, is, hey, man, it's constantly popping out. Also right here in uh, Babylon, the Great America, we're seeing that, you know, that, that outbreak over in China and also an outbreak in uh, Ohio, Massachusetts, I think in New York also. So you already know the quarantine camps. Also, it, it was already rumors that uh, Walmart will be uh, what? FEMA camps. You know what I'm saying? So there's a lot of things are coming into place. So you're seeing how things are constantly lining up. You know, they're locking things up now where you can't uh, have 
control like you normally have control. So you're seeing that these things gradually coming into play, the new world order. So a lot of things are coming. So, hey, man, so we, we constantly tell you. So that's why I titled the Dave lesson. See then that ye walk circumspectly. So when you go into that word circumspectly, so when you go into the word circum, it mean around and 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 uh, speculately a spectrum. It mean to look. So three hundred and six degree. You know. So know your surrounding. You know. What I'm saying know who the people that you're dealing with. You know. What I'm saying you know knowing what going on in the world. You know. What I'm saying these global events, all these different. Things are happening left and right. You know what I'm saying? So you got to be what? Wise. You know what I'm saying? Walk in wisdom. You know what I'm saying? And out of that, and trust and believe in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So let's get a quick precept. I have some more video to bring out a little bit more edification in a moment. So let's go here and get this quick precept um, in Colossians. <clears throat> Colossians chapter 4. <clears throat> One moment. Uh, Colossians chapter 4 and verse 5. Let's get this right quick. And it reads, said, walk in wisdom toward them that are with, without redeeming the time. So one thing about it, you know, it said you got to walk with, you know, wisely. You know what I'm saying? You got to what? Redeem the time wisely. Because one thing about it, we are living in some evil time. Jacob troubles at the door with the hour of temptation. So one thing about it is that, you know, at any given time, you know, all hell could break loose. So we seeing, you know, that these in these stores, so you're going to have limited access. So the what? The the sown place is going to become unsown. So one thing about it, your access is going to be cut off. You know what I'm saying? Your what? Your, uh, your uh, going back and forth will be cut off if you do not uh, come under this new system, this new what? Beast banking system. So we already know if things are right at the door are going digital. You know, things are right in front of your face. And that about a lot of people what are still a docile. A lot of people what are still asleep. And while you're sleeping, the devil is constantly getting busy. Who is that Esau Edom, the so-called white man, the devil that the Bible speaks of? So we're constantly warning you left and right. Hey, man, we're seeing it right before I. So let's start today's videos. And after the video, we will start the lesson. And I hope that you will get edified. This video is going viral. Walmart's locking everything up. And while you're not going to guess why, make sure you watch till the end. This is pretty freaking sad that everything in Walmart is locked up. This is what the world's come to. I mean, really, guys? Really? I have to wait for somebody to come and bring me or give me dishwashing liquid? Yep. This is bullshit. Unreal. Then I can't reach up there because I would grab that stuff. This is BS. Like we have been waiting, and of course Walmart don't ever fucking come. This is ridiculous. Supposedly after the new year, this is supposed to be happening at almost every Walmart across the United States of America. Because of the high thefts and crime, well, you never know. I want to know what you guys think of this in the comments. And if this happened at your Walmart, well, would you stand around and wait for dish liquid? In response to escalating theft rates, Walmart has taken a significant step by establishing its own in-house police force to address rampant incidents of theft which have reached alarming levels. The retail giant, driven by a commitment to safeguard its considerable assets, has initiated the opening of a police station within one of its stores, with the first such facility located in Atlanta. This proactive move is designed to enhance security measures and counteract the rising challenges posed by theft. Stepping into Walmart in Atlanta, a noticeable increase in the presence of law enforcement officers is evident. This strategic decision comes on the heels of Walmart's prior attempts to curb theft by employing measures such as locking up numerous items within the store. However, these efforts proved ineffective and led to a less enjoyable shopping experience for other customers. The installation of a police station within Walmart is expected to serve as a deterrent to theft, signaling a commitment to maintaining a secure shopping environment. Have y'all seen these new, uh, Jetson future doors they got here at Walgreens. Look, 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 it says, it says, uh, wave to speak. I would like a uh, Red Bull, please. It's not working. Dispense Red Bull. Still not working. Uh, Red Bull, please. 
still not working. Well, I guess we'll do it the uh, old-fashioned way. What is this shit? So we'll start today lesson in Second Ezra chapter 15. So you see in that, uh, I think the second video whereby I said that they're going to start putting uh, police's substations in, inside of Walmart. So, hey, man, things are shaping up just like the what this B system is. It's, it's already rumors of what uh, when in case of a, a lockdown that uh, Walmart re will uh, become what? Uh, FEMA what uh, FEMA what uh, uh, camps you know what I'm saying so we seen these things are lining up just like clockwork man we seeing it so one thing about it that uh, we seeing that you know we, we're approaching this what beast banking system this cashless society this what digital society so we start the daily lesson quick lesson through the spirit I start the daily lesson in uh, secondary chapter uh, 15 we'll start up at verse verse 16 so like verse 16 and we'll start up at verse 20 uh second Ezra chapter 16 and verse 20 so we seeing that hey man we're very close you know so so these things are constantly are popping you know we seeing that they they, they want what total control so we seeing that in one of those videos you seen they had the damn spam locked up in a damn uh containment you know hey man come on man we're not ignorant of his device so this is leading straight into what you're buying and selling you know what i'm saying it's leading straight to the what that grain of rice the motb you know a lot of people right now are drinking good they're not considering you know what i'm saying they're in the house of mirth right now you know what i'm saying having a great old time laughing you know what i'm saying all of a sudden all these things they constantly put it into play you know wave and speak and out of buy because you know we're talking about wave because of what that grain of rice in your forehead or into your what in your uh, uh into your hand so hey man one thing about it, a lot of people gonna lean a lot of people gonna what depend or trust in the what the strength of egypt and i back because a lot of people still gonna want to eat a lot of people gonna want to have a sense of normalcy ain't nothing going back to saying all hell is getting ready to break loose and also what the great and glorious return of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. It is fast to approach and also our salvation it, it is at the door so now let's start today's uh lesson uh, second Ezra chapter 16 and verse 20 said, but, but for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourge. So a lot of people are not mindful. They're not walking, uh, with wisdom. You know what I'm saying? Not walking wisely, not, uh, uh, paying attention to their surrounding, the changing of the time, you know, uh, evil, uh, evil times are constantly growing left and right. You know, they're not mindful of the scourge. Things are happening all around us simultaneous. And a lot of our people are still are talking about the holiday, still are talking about anniversary. You know what I'm saying? What New Year revolution, all these things are very vain. Lord ain't giving a damn about none of it. If you're not seeking your true power, you're getting ready to die. Verse 21 said, because victory shall be good, uh, good, cheap, upon upon the earth they uh, that they sh uh, shall think themselves to be uh in good case and even then shall evils grow uh upon the earth sword famine and great confusion a uh, great what disorder so we seeing these things are happening left and right even though right now you eating good and pretty much now you know the i hyperinflation you know it, it hadn't all the way set in just yet you know, still things are still reasonable still like a sense of normalcy still got uh, sunshine but this is the quiet before the storm so a lot of people thinking that they are good thinking that they have their finance they have resource you know they family everybody have good health right now but all of a sudden you know so when they say peace and safety then total destruction will come upon you we already know that hey man a great famine is gonna come in the land you know what i'm saying food shortage rolling blackouts you know what i'm saying your well life is getting ready to change your livelihood no job no internet hey man these things are coming upon us at a fast pace like right now it's very convenient to go to to walmart to your favorite uh restaurant or uh, your favorite retail store and get whatever you want but these things are getting ready to change and out about and one thing about it if you do not consent or submit you will be trodden underfoot so let's read this again second Ezra chapter 16 and verse 21 say behold victory shall be good be so good and cheap upon the earth that they should think themselves to be in good case and even then shall evils grow upon the earth sword famine and great confusion 
You know what I'm saying? That's getting ready to happen. Sedition among men. You know what I'm saying? Uh, rioting, protesting. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, civil unrest. A lot of things are coming down the pipeline. Insurrection. So, hey, man, we're seeing these things are fast approach. So it's gradually coming in. We're seeing that the world is changing. You know what I'm saying? We're seeing that transition of power taking right taking uh is taking place right before our eyes man the lord is moving the chess pieces around verse 22 said for many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy so we're coming upon that time you know what i'm saying city against city you know what i'm saying nation against nation we're seeing these things that happen you know rules of walls are all over the place you know it's things just, I mean, left and right. So we seeing that every store that you go in, you know, they setting these things up, you know, Target, Walgreens, Whole Food, Amazon, you know, Wal Walmart, you know what I'm saying? A lot of things and many others, you know what I'm saying? They, they putting these things into place. So we already knowing that if you're, you're not going to play their game or be a part of this system, you, you will be cut out of society. You know what I'm saying? And also, you know, it's starvation is going to set in. A lot of people are going to be what? taken in a great number gonna be what uh, uh uh what unalive in a great number so we coming upon these times and we're constantly warning you left and right hey man how do you here how do you will for bear so let's go here to um let's go here to uh habakkuk chapter two habakkuk chapter two <clears throat> and verse we'll start up at verse uh verse one habakkuk chapter uh habakkuk chapter two habakkuk chapter two let's start up at verse one and it reads that I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am a reprove and out of body. You know, hey, man, one thing about it, you know, you got to be watching. You know, we're standing on our watch. We seeing what uh, the signs of the time and out of body, you know, see, and we seeing this, you know what I'm saying? We're measuring the time through what through the scriptures and we seeing that, hey, man. These things are constantly coming upon us. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, got to watch, got to pray, got to be circumspectly. Hey, man, we're living in these, what, in the end time, real time. Let's read this again. It says, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower, and I will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. So, hey, man, we're seeing that they, man, they, these, uh, these signs, you know what I'm saying? These prophecies are what they're speaking. You know what I'm saying? They're telling us right now, hey, that we in this time. It's spot on. You know what I'm saying? We're watching. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man. And, uh, and who is the uh, watchman? Those are the prophets, the men of the Lord and the highways and byways. The one that's making these videos, constantly watching. You know what I'm saying? See that what's going on with Walmart. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people uh not paying that any attention. Oh, they have this locked up. I had to get someone to come out and bring the kids. Very inconvenient, blase, blase. But that ain't by will. Hey, man. Hey man, these prophecies are speaking loud and clear. You know what you, what you, you know, say said, uh, what a prudent man for see is the evil, a wise man, the one that knowing what time that he living in. Uh, verse two it said, and the Lord answered me, and said, write the vision and make it plain upon upon table that he may run that readers it or understand it. It said, verse three said, for the vision is is yet. For an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. So it's not tarrying right now. You know, we're seeing that the Lord is, is getting ready to execute judgment. We're seeing that these prophecies are constantly rolling just like clockwork. And out of every day, it is something going down. You know, it's no more long suffering, no uh, more uh, prolonged. The Lord is bringing it forth. And out of about, we're seeing it happening right before our eyes. And out of that's why you got to be what? Walk with wisdom. You know what I'm saying? Knowing what time that we're living in. The signs of the times are here. We're living in the end time, real time. So now, let's go here to Ephesians. Let's go here to Ephesians chapter uh, 5. Ephesians chapter 5, one moment, Ephesians chapter 5 and verse uh, 15. And it really says, see then that ye walk circumspectly, not as food, but as wise. So, you know, hey, man, you know, know your, you know your surrounding, you know what I'm saying? Knowing the environment, knowing the uh, the people that you keep company with, you know what I'm saying? Seeing, watching what what's going on in the news around the world, the global events, you know, everything around you. We're seeing that things are constantly changing left and right. We're seeing that, you know what I'm saying, that our, our livelihood is getting ready to change. We're seeing that we're coming upon these, what, 
perilous time, you know what I'm saying, a time of trouble that we have never seen before, hey man, we got to keep our eyes on the prize, you know, we got to stay what, locked in, you know, got to be what, grounded and seated, you know what I'm saying, on that what, solid foundation, and who is that solid foundation, that's who, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, verse, uh, Verse 16 says, redeeming the time because the days are evil. You know what I'm saying? What, re, well, what redeem the time? What wisely? You know what I'm saying? You use your time very wisely. You know what I'm saying? One thing about it is that, you know what I'm saying? We seeing that these times are constantly, what, getting worse and worse. You know what I'm saying? The love of men is waxing colder and, and colder. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, wickedness is exceedingly great. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, judgment is now at hand. And the men of the Lord, we hate me. What sound like a broken record, but these are the times that we're living in, man. Verse 17 said, Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. Hey, man, you got to understand what the will of the Lord is. You know what I'm saying? You got to seek the Lord early. And how do you seek the Lord? Uh, through the what? Through the prophets. You know what I'm saying? Hey, through the mouth speak, through the voice. You know, I didn't buy it. Hey, man, my sheep hear my voice and follow me. And one thing about it is that we seeing that, man, things are getting ready to, uh, to get very dark. Things are getting ready to get very, uh, 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 like impossible. But one thing about it, you know, one thing about it, you got to have what faith. It is impossible to please Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh if you do not have faith. And one thing about it is that we coming upon these times. You know what I'm saying? And one thing about it, the elect, the true believer, they are getting ready to be tried as gold is tried in the fire. You know what I'm saying? One thing about it, amen. Tribulation, you know, the beginning of sorrow, persecution, death, and destruction. Famine, you know, a lot of things are coming down the pipeline, you know, so, hey, man, we're here inside the door. Let's get one more before we close out. Let's go here to uh, Sirach chapter five. We get one more, we'll shut it down. Uh, so rock chapter five and verse seven. So rock chapter five and verse seven. It said, make no terror to turn to the Lord. Put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. So one thing about it, you don't want to put off from day to day because one thing about it, hey man, it could be your last day because people are dropping unalive left and right, you know, all of a sudden, you know what I'm saying? And one thing about it, a lot of people right now, they're not considering. A lot of people are uh, going on with their day to lie, you know, the busy body of this world. But the Lord already said that the wisdom of this world is foolishness to him. If you're not seeking the Lord, you get ready to die. And one thing about it is that, you know, a lot of people right now, they're walking what charcoal. You know what I'm saying? They get ready what to fill the fire. You hear me? Right now, they're in their security. They're thinking that they're a good case. And one thing about it, hey, man, they're in for a rude awakening. Verse 8, it says, Set uh, not thy heart upon goods unjustly gotten, for they shall not profit thee in the day of calamity. The day of calamity. It's fast approaching. We see it. You know, things are changing all around us, man. And one thing about it, the Lord is visiting the earth that He created. So we seeing what's going on with with these uh with these Walmart. They said by what uh January uh twenty four that they're gonna lock up everything. So we already knowing that, you know, and also it's rumors that the dollar will uh will collapse, you know, will be obsolete January the uh uh, 24, but we're going to measure the time uh, diligent. You already knowing that uh, Esau loved playing with the dates. But one thing about we knowing that it will come to pass already been prophesied, you know, you know, as it is written, it shall come to pass. The Lord's word will not return to him void. So we seeing these things are constantly happening. We'll rejoice. We're very close. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man. We at the end of this thing. You know what I'm saying? The Lord is getting ready, hey man, and, and make all our enemies be our what? Our footstool. You know, slavery is coming back in a big way. You know what I'm saying? The Lord's getting ready to bring forth that what spiritual power. And also the Lord is getting ready what to usher in the kingdom of heaven that dwells in righteousness, and we cannot wait. So the title of the day lesson, once again, is see then that ye walk circumspectly. So I like to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. By Shem, Rikaka Dash, I like to say, Shalom Wam, Shalom Wam.